so now this will be the dissection for the C star. Okay, so the first thing we need to do will be deciding which side is which. So here will be their mouth. Okay, so that's why we call this size oral side, and then this size aboral side. So after you can tell those, now we can get to the external structure. So here you will see five arms, okay, protruding out, and then on the aboral side we will see five grooves embedded within the arms. That's what we call epilateral grooves, okay. And within the epilateral grooves, you will see those little suckers. Those are what we call tube feet. Okay? And let me flip back to the aboral side. For those like pinkish skin part, that's what we call dermal brachiae. And then those white dots throughout the whole body, those are spines. And on this region, that's what we call central disc region, here will be a very special structure is what we call madripori. You will see the texture will be different from spine because this one's kind of whitish and flat, but for spine is kind of like little bumps and it's throughout the body. Okay, usually madripori is only found on central disc. And then other than that, you would need to know, if you look at the end of the arms, you will see something flipping up. That's what we call oscilli. Oscilli is actually acting as their eyes. So they cannot actually see, but they can touch the surrounding to see what's happening in the environment. Okay, so that's pretty much about the external. And then now let's move into internal, okay? So that's just what we say, that's the central disc. And then um, actually the madripori for this part is actually been dug out, okay? So if I remove the central disc, you will see the internal stru structure being exposed. And then they have two stomachs. Okay, so for the one on top, this one is actually what we call pyloric stomach. And then if you see the pyloric stomach being removed, the one on the bottom, this one is actually cardiac stomach. Cardiac stomach is the one they push out through the mouth and digest the food and then put it in. Okay, so after you see those two stomachs, now you focus, now you're looking at the mouth. Around the mouth, you will see five rings. That's what we call ring canal, okay? So ring canal will be this region. And if you go along the ring canal, you get into the arms. When you get into arms, you will see this two very distinct structure surrounding the central area. That's what we call pyloric cica, okay? And then here, for pyloric cica, in the middle, that's what we call radial canal. Okay, so radial canal is the one start from the ring canal, go all the way into the arms. And then surround, surrounding the ring, uh, radial canal, that's what we call ampullae. For this lab, usually it's dyed in yellow. Okay, so ampullae, and that's a radial canal. And then let's see, oh, and then the last thing you need to see will be actually gonad. Uh, gonad for this one, Okay, it's not that clear. Let me see. This. Let me move to another one to give you a better picture of the gonad. Oh, okay, that's a very good one. Okay, so for this one, you will see the gonad is actually separate from the pylori cica and is at the origin of the radial canal. Okay, so let me see on this side if I can find one. Yeah, here. Okay. So let me turn it a little bit, and then you will see it's totally different from pylori cica. Okay, this one, the one I'm holding right now, you can see it's orange from here, and then end right here, instead of going through all the way to the arms. Okay, so that's gonad. Okay, and then that's about it.